Um, so congratulations for winning the gold medal. Thank you. Uh, the first question is, how do you feel about winning the gold medal in the SEA Games? It's great. You know, the fans here were great. The energy was great. It just felt, it's amazing. It's an experience, you know? Many people don't experience this, so it's just a great feeling. So, how about you? Uh, how do you feel after winning the gold medal? Oh, it was great, man. I'm happy to be here in the country and win for the country and get them a gold medal and, uh, you know, just happy for the fans. They've been through a lot, so happy to see them happy. So, uh, the second question is, uh, have, uh, have you uh, previously uh, completed for the Emory in the SEA Games? No, this is my first time, so like, the, the experience was great, you know, I, I was able to visit a country I've never been to before, and to play in the FIBA 3-on-3 was even amazing. Uh, you are the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First time also. Uh, hopefully it won't be the last. And, you know, we still got some more work to do with the 515, so we're going to see how this thing go. Keep this thing rolling. Uh, for how long have you been uh, training to prepare for the SEA Games? Uh, about three or four weeks, you know. As soon as I got the call for it, I was training for it right away. Yeah, so most of you uh, have been training for three or four weeks. Yeah. So, uh, have you expect to win the gold medal in the SEA Games? Yeah, definitely. You got to come in and these type of events and uh, have confidence, you know. Without confidence, there's no win because this key confidence is definitely key in every game. So, uh, do you have any message to Cambodia fans? What is it? Your message for the fans. Thank you for everything. Thank you for allowing us in your country. And you know, we got a lot more work to do. And uh... Uh, we're going to try to pull out again another gold medal with the five on five, and we love the fans. Thank you so much.